Let's talk about the cusps and ridges of the anterior teeth. So there's only one group of teeth that we need to worry about for the anterior teeth. The canines, the cuspids, because they're the only ones with the cusp. So if we look at this from your point of view, this is the mandible, this is the canine. This big prominence is the cusp. Now let's look at that from our cube perspective, okay? All right, so I drew it from the perspective that we're looking at this tooth. So we have the labial, the lingual, the distal, the mesial. So now when we're looking at the cusp, we want to think about this prominence. So let's make a point. Now, if I took this point and I pulled it up, it would make a specific shape. This is a triangular prism. So each of these is a ridge. The whole thing is the cusp. Now, if we put that on here, what it would look like is something like this. And as we can see, that doesn't look too pretty. So let's look at it from a bird's eye view. So now if we look at it from a bird's eye view, what we can see is this triangular prism is on top. Each of the ridges refers to the directional term that it's in the direction of. So this would be the distal, this would be the mesial, this would be the labial, this would be the lingual. So again, if we look at this tooth, it has four ridges corresponding to this. So whenever you have a cusp, you have four ridges. So remember, the lingual, the mesial, the distal, and the labial. One cusp, four ridges. This is Chase Rebordi with the Game Plan for your academics.